hey what is up everyone i hope all of you are doing great and before coming to the solution of today's question i would like to discuss with all of you the concept of image charges whose founder was lord kelvin now when and why will we use image charges right suppose there is a conductor and uh, there is a point charge near it right now suppose i have grounded this conductor of course there will be some induced charges here there will be some positive here initially the conductor was neutral and uh, now if someone asks you to find out the potential at point p at any surrounding point p okay uh, that would be a difficult task because you don't know how much uh, this induced charge is and how this induced charge will affect the potential at point p now in image charges what do we do that we replace this whole structure with a single point charge okay so that it satisfies all the uh, required electrostatic conditions provided by this two assemblies right so in the concept of image charges we'll replace this whole thing with a point charge let us take it as q prime okay so this whole thing is replaced with this one so that it will create the same effect in the surrounding that was previously being produced by this charge distribution uh, i would uh, show you some demonstration and it will make this thing easier right so first let us take one easy example suppose there is an infinite grounded conducting plane okay so this is an infinite grounded conducting plane this is the x axis so that is the plane is in the x x y z plane right now the conductor is grounded so the potential will be zero and a point charge q is placed here right now potential is zero here of course there will be some induced charge some minus charge here right now if someone asks you to find out the potential at point p okay some x y coordinate right that would be a difficult task because uh, you know that uh, there is some induced charge but how this induced charge will create the potential at point p you don't know that but what if we could replace this whole structure with a single point charge things will become much easier now we know that potential on this surface is zero so we'll try to find out a charge and we'll put it in a specific special location which will create the same effect on this surface so that would happen if we place a negative q charge at the opposite side of coordinate minus a comma 0 see this negative q charge and this positive q charge is still producing the same effect of course this charge cannot be infinite because that uh, at infinite the potential must be zero right and at on this surface the potential should also be zero so that is only possible if you place another negative charge okay of uh, inverse nature in the opposite side at this coordinate fine so this thing is equivalent to this thing so now you can just remove this conducting plane and you can now easily find out the potential at any given point okay just take the two charges and you can find out the potential right things have become easier now let us take another example similarly for a point charge and a grounded sphere that we are talking at the very beginning suppose there is a point charge q and there is a conductor that has been grounded charges will be induced here some positive here uh field lines would look something like this something like sorry something like this right there will be many more field lines also okay like this like this like this anyways but uh, same thing uh, what if someone asks you to find out the potential in the surrounding it's not possible now what we will do we'll just replace the effect of these induced charges with a single point charge at a specific location so let us consider that 
that specific charge should be placed at this point at a distance d prime from the center and this surrounding char this near about charge is at a distance d from the center of course if this charge was not present then the question would have been very simple this charge creates the most problem here so let us take that image charge is q prime placed at a distance d prime from the origin right and what conditions we need to satisfy that potential on the surface of this conductor should be zero okay and uh, potential at infinite should be zero the there should be no extra charge in the outer side of the shell because uh, it won't satisfy Laplace's equation. Now, what is Laplace equation? It is out of syllabus. Just uh, listen to me. Okay. Now, potential at point C due to these two charges okay, is K e q by A C and K e q prime by B C. Right? So, A C is this one, A C because this one is theta. Right? Fine. Similarly, B C would be this one. So, just manipulating the equation here. Now, this potential at any point on the surface should be 0. So, for any given value of theta, potential should be 0 and that will only happen if Q by A is equal to negative Q prime by D prime and D by A is equal to A by D prime. Right? So, that specific that image charge should be minus q a by d and it should be placed at a distance a square by d from the center of the conductor right so this is the case for a grounded conducting sphere okay and a point charge near it so now you can just uh, remove this whole conducting sphere and all the effect of induced charges can be assembled at a single point Okay. So, now let us go to our question, today's question. See, consider a thin conducting shell of radius r carrying total charge q, two point charges q and 2q are placed on points a and b, which are at distance 0.5r and 2r okay, uh, from the center c of the shell respectively. If this shell is earthed, how much charge will flow to the earth? Okay. Now, first let us check when it was not earthed. When it was not earth, a q charge was here, 2 q charge was here. So, due to this q, there would be an induced charge minus q, and initially, this whole conducting sphere was q charge, so there will be an induced additional plus q charge, so total charge was 2 q, right? Total charge was 2 q on the outer surface. Now, after that, we have grounded the sphere, what happens? There will be an image charge right after grounding there will be an image charge and that image charge will only be due to, due to this 2q charge okay right now due to this 2q charge the amount of image charge will be q prime was what q prime was minus q a by d so here in place of minus q we will put minus 2q a by d where a is the radius d is this distance so we get q prime equals to minus q so the effect of induced charge will be replaced by minus q and it should be placed at a distance d prime and d prime is how much a square by d that is radius square divided by 2r that is r by 2 fine so if minus q is here plus q would be here and minus q additional would be here so of course this surrounding the outer surface will consist of all the total induced charge that is equal to minus q right so the final charge on the outer surface is minus q which is only due to this 2q and how we have calculated it like this so the charge flown is how much initial it was 2q final it was minus q so the charge flown to the ground is 3q so our final answer would be option b i know i could have explained it in a much uh, elaborate way and uh, but hey it is not in our syllabus right so i hope i was able to give you a rough idea i think i should give you a homework so 
I am giving you an assignment, just try to solve it, right. Suppose there is an infinite plane grounded, okay. This conducting plane is grounded and a point charge is kept at this coordinate a comma a, right. Find out the net force on Q. Try to find out using the concept of image charges, right. It would be much easier, okay. Write down the answer below in the comment section. I hope you all have found this video helpful and informative. If you are new to this channel, please do subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.